Hey guys, and welcome to JTEC WP. This is the Final Cut Pro keyboard from Editor's Keys, and it's great for editing in low light or complete darkness. I use this keyboard every day for my work for video editing, web design, and word processing, and I'm really happy with it. Inside the box, you get a foam cover to keep the keys protected. The packaging is reasonably good, and you get an instruction guide and a catalogue with their other products in it. The keyboard has three adjustable light levels which you can control on the top right hand side of the keyboard, just above the numeric pad. Editor's Keys supports most of the major video editing platforms, so you've got Adobe After Effects, Premiere Pro, Avid Media Composer, Cinema 4D, DaVinci Resolve, Edius, Final Cut, Luma Fusion, Magic Vegas, so you can see it's quite a few on there. It also supports the audio packages as well, so you've got Adobe Audition, Ableton, Steinberg Cubase, Studio Keyboards, Logic Pro. Presonus, Avid, Reason, Cakewalk, massive amount of choice they make keyboards for. They also have keyboard covers, which is kind of handy if you've got a MacBook because you don't have to keep it on all the time. When you're editing, you just overlay the keyboard. When you're done, take it off. Pretty handy. The keyboard is available in English UK, Euro English, US English, German and French. If you're interested in buying one of the Editor's Keys keyboards, I've put a link in the description below. My mentions are only slightly bigger than a normal Apple keyboard. The one I'm using here is 445mm by 140mm, and they do have a small version as well, as you can see here. The keys are lit from underneath using LEDs, with the symbols printed on top of the keys. It's got a nice tactile feel to it, and it sounds pretty good too. Here's what it sounds like when you start typing. It has colour coded keys red, blue, yellow, black, pink and purple. Red changes the views, events, timeline, viewer inspector, colour board and video scopes. Pink is for playback, you can play, pause, do a previous edit, next edit, go to beginning and go to the end. Blue controls the clips in the timeline. Yellow are for tools like position, trim, select, zoom and blade. Purple are used for tags and keywords. The only negative thing I have to say about this keyboard is if you're an advanced Final Cut Pro user, you might want to change your custom keyboard layout. And the main issue with this with this keyboard is the symbols are printed onto the keys, so you can't swap them over easily. I'd love to see it in a future version if there were like LED keys where you could set your favourites and the keys would change with your favourites. That would be fantastic. I don't know how long that would take them to do or if that's possible, but that would be great. I would love that in a future version. Well, that's it for the review on the Editor's Keys keyboard for Final Cut Pro. Hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribe. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.